hi everyone today in this video i'm going to talk about the decorated design pattern this decorated design pattern comes under the structural design pattern and this is very useful and very important for most of the scenarios as per this design pattern we will have one object and we will add so many functionalities at the runtime without changing the behavior of the actual class so this technical definition won't make much sense as of now first let's focus on the main concept what problem it will solve let's focus on one example and then we will talk about all those things for example here i want to develop a text editor application in that text editor i will have some text and then i will add some more decorations on that text for example i will have a text which is hello world on that hello world i want to add a functionality like the bold so if i'm using this bold feature then i will have bold hello text on that bold if i want to have italic then i can have this uh, i tag then the bold and then the actual text so if i want to have underscore then maybe i will have more so in that scenario there will be a number of decorations over here and the main actual object is that plain text so that hello world is our main object on that object we can have these decorators and we can have these decorators in any order so if i want to maintain the order and based on that i need to implement any logic then i can use this decorator design pattern but first let's understand what will happen if i'm not using this decorator design pattern and i'm using the basic one so in that case we can start our implementation by using one interface and this interface is going to be i text inside this i text there could be one method which is render so there will be one class which is the plain text then we will have this bold text then we will have this italic text so i can have three classes and all these three classes will inherit this i text interface now so far everything is fine but for example if i want to add more features so it could be plain text then i can have bold plus plain bold plus italic if i want to have those combinations also and because the order matters a lot so i have to create my class for each specific combination so in that scenario you will see that we will have so many classes and tomorrow if i need to add some more functionalities because there could be so many things in the text editor there could be bold italic underscore color and so many things are there so if you want to have the classes for all of them then still you are using the design pattern but this is a wrong way so this is not the good practice so as a developer you will be in trouble so we have to develop our application in such a way that it is more flexible and tomorrow if i need to add more feature to this particular application then it is super easy to do that there should not be any change in the existing one okay now what is the solution of this problem the solution is the decorator design button how is this a solution let's talk about that so in this scenario we will divide this entire situation into two parts one is going to be the component and second one is going to be the decorator so what is component the component is that plain text that we are having so that plain text will be the component in this scenario and what is the decorator the decorator is this bold italic underscore color all the features that we want to have in this application all of them individually one by one is one single decorator so if we have the definition of this decorator one by one in a separate class so in our client application we can call them in any order and we can maintain that functionality so this situation is simple but it is bit logical because the next implementation depends on the previous object so for example first of all i'm having one plain text so what is the output plain text in that plain text i want to add the bold functionality so what is the input that plain text and what is the output plain text with bold tag in that bold tag i want to add the italic functionality so what is the input the input is that text with the bold tag and what is the output italic bold and the text so ultimately we are changing the behavior of the current object at the runtime without changing anything in that plain text so things are bit logical and i don't think it is complex but it is bit logical so let's talk about all these things in detail in this video here i'm using this visual studio and here i have created one basic console application the name is decorator design pattern and like this so because we are having two things one is component and the decorator so let's create those implementations first okay so here i'm gonna add new class and this is going to be the component inside this component i will have first interface which is going to be the i text and it is going to be get text or render any method of your choice that you want to have right now let's have one concrete implementation of this interface and this is going to be a class and we are having this plain text like this so again this class is inheriting from this i text interface and we are implementing this render method and we are returning the text that we are getting 
so but because we can use the primary constructor so there is no need of using this constructor so let's fix it so here i'm writing this history and text like that you can remove everything from here like this and we can return the simple text that we are receiving in this constructor parameter like this so so far everything is fine our component is done because now we are focusing only on one single component at this place now let's focus on our decorators okay so i'm going to create one more class over here and the name is going to be the decorator so here i'm going to create first one class basically a wrapper on this implementation that we are having right now so for that i'm going to create a new abstract class and it is going to be decorator i'm going to inherit it from the i text interface this interface that we have created because we have to match the signature so i will implement this string render method over here and let's use the primary constructor also over here so i will be using it like this i can remove these things so let's implement this method and here i will be using the virtual keyword because there will be some more decorators they will implement this method and they can override this method also so here i'm going to return what i will return text dot render so what is this so this text is basically the type of this i text and whatever type we are getting for example as of now we have only this plain text so we will get the object of this plain text over here and we are calling the method of our base class because we are passing the instance of this plain text and this one has this render method so ultimately with this text dot render we are calling this method and here we have written this plain text so ultimately we will get the same method this method is not doing anything else this is just a wrapper now let's add our first decorator and this is going to be this bold decorator so in this bold we are inheriting it from our this wrapper this decorator and we are expecting that again someone will pass the i text type over here because we have one plain text so someone will pass that instance over here and we will pass the same one in our decorator base class we have this render method over here and just notice over here that in this render method implementation we are calling first this base dot render so ultimately this base dot render will call this wrapper inside this wrapper we are calling again this method so ultimately what we will get the plain text and on that plain text we are wrapping this bold tag at this place now let's create one more decorator so for example this italic the implementation is similar but what is the difference the difference is that here we are adding the functionality is specific to this decorator so let's use one more over here decorator and this is going to be the underscore decorator and now let's run this application so first i'm going to create a new plain text and on that plain text what will happen if i'm calling this text dot render let's run this application and see what is happening at this place we can notice that we are getting the same plain text which is hello world okay now let's call one decorator on this text and you can call that in any order for example i'm calling this bold decorator first and now i'm going to render the implementation now so let's run this application and see what will happen this time so here you will notice because we are having this console application after each line so first we are having this plain text and then we are having the bold tag around this hello world okay now let's use the italic also and now let's display the message at this place similarly we will use the underscore and let's display that message also so let's run this application again and see this time what will happen so the message is obvious first we are getting this plain text then we are having this bold then this bold is wrapped around this italic and then this italic is wrapped around the u so this is how you can use this text editor and you can add all your concrete implementations and all your decorators at the runtime so now in future if i want to add one more decorator for example the color so what i can do inside this decorator i can create one more class with the name color i can implement it from this decorator and i can write the code for coloring of that text and because there is no dependency of these classes to each other so we can place them anywhere and we can call any one of the method in any order this is all about the decorator design pattern but i know this design pattern is little bit complex and there are chances that this is still not clear to you so i'm planning to create one more video on this same topic on this decorator design pattern and there we will talk about some more little bit complex example and then you will better understand how this interdependency works on this decorator if i'm calling this italic how it is calling the base one the bold one and then the how the bold is calling another one so how this chain is working over there we will talk about that in the next video in the meantime if you have any questions any feedback any suggestions please share everything in the comment section below i would be happy to read them and respond on them thank you very much i will see you in the next video bye bye